the battle of Broward versus the Bronx. Let's get into it. So starting off, we had Shai K on the Gwinnin interview talking about his project. Okay, so the question was diving into the upcoming project called Face of the What that Shai K was dropping. And he was diving into the features that he had going on in the project, Sleazy World Go, as well as Kodak Black and the individuals from the Bronx. And he said, it's great drill. If you think that I'm bringing out the melodic side of Shai K, no, sir, I'm on a hot. You know what I'm saying? Been on hot. That's what, he, that's what he's trying to tell you. He's on BT because of this project. And now all this extra stuff is going on. It's actually pretty good for his project. I, I can't lie. Be, being that it's about to be hella drill music, and he's in what, another beef? New ops? Like, <laughs> new ops for real, okay? Now he also dived into another interview platform that I'm not even going to cite or reference. If you know, you know. But in order to do this video, had to watch this little small clip to get some more information. But Shai K actually didn't really care that much, honestly. He said he's from the hood and he don't really care. He just wants to see how it works. Woo -doo -woo. But being that he did two interviews where it was discussed about Kodak Black and him being on the same project, it kind of gets a little fishy when we roll the clip later on. But roll the first clip. Uh -huh. I came here. I know my methods. I I would never met these people if I wasn't doing what I was doing. So mm -hmm. just let me work. Let you work. Yeah, I push the music. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. All right. That's what's up. So now, so now moving forward, we got this project coming out. Tell them about the project that you got coming out. That's coming out in early September. Uh -huh. Face of the what? Mm -hmm. Straight drill. Gangsta. Like I just. I, it's about my whole story. My whole life story. Mm hmm. I just went crazy. You have anybody on there? You got your homies on there, or any? PJ Glizzy, my son, locked up free, bro. Uh huh. And then I got S Sleazy on that Kodak Black. You know Sleazy Flow. Yeah. Uh huh. Sleazy World, Kodak, and PJ F. No. Mm. Let me let me um let me dispel a, a, a rumor that I, I heard also. Now, Mister, you made my shirt wrinkly. If you thought that he was not gonna get in a wrinkly bunch off of this situation, you must not watch Shai K on YouTube or listen to his music. This man is on BT at what time? This man is always on BT. So now I'm I'm on YouTube and I see it in my recommended Shai K on Hots. I said, wow. You know what I'm saying? I, I, this was to be expected though. You know, Kodak Black was kind of talking crazy. Not, not talking crazy. He said, he, 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 he literally was like, yo, no disrespect, but. Like, I don't know you though, bro. Like, I don't know you. Like, we talking about like, I'm on your project. You don't even mess with my mans. I'm on your project. Woo -woo -woo. But like, I mean, this is the music industry. Things, things like that are gonna happen. But when it comes to New York though, hey, New York is a whole different story. I ain't gonna lie. You have Shai K talking about Kodak Black saying, now you can't come to New York. I said, wow, bro. You know what I'm saying? The person that he is, is beefing with you about live in New York. And now you trying to say he can't come to New York. And then he threw in the A&R. He said, yeah, A&R can't come to New York. I said, damn, Sean, come on, bro. The A&R can't come to New York? Come on, leave, what the A&R do? Come on, seriously. You be having beef with managers, artists, come on. Like, leave the executives out of it. What did the manager do? What did the A&R do? Come on, seriously, leave the A&R out of it. It's, it's, leave the A&R out of it, man. Roll the clip. I told them niggas, I don't want to do a song with you. I'm a heavy on the race, K, nigga, you know that. Suck my dick, nigga. And you can't come to New York ever again. Now you ever, ever, you're slammed out. It's over. Suck my dick, Kodak. Suck my dick. Fuck you, took him on. You shot. Where do my dad niggas know my body? Can't come to New York. Fuck is you took him on, nigga. I never wanted, I never wanted to do it. Every time they told me, yo, do this shit, I said, no, no, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. Where do my dad never wanted to do this? I never wanted to do that. You on my dick. I don't even know you. I never seen you. You know the vibe. Don't come to New York. You already know what happens to you when you come to New York. Yeah. Part two. <laughs> Part two. Part two. You already know what happens to you when you come to New York. Right. Stop it. Whoa, whoa. Niggas be crazy. Niggas be on my dick. Why you on my dick? Off the wake up. Why you on my dick? <laughs> nigga, 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 nigga. That's a leaky commentary. He said, I already seen this coming. <laughs> well. Shai K on that previous video had said that Tutu G's had got on the phone with him and they had chopped it up and he didn't want no smoke or whatever. I don't really know, but 
Tutu has been very vocal nowadays, honestly. Tutu's been very vocal and he had to get his say so in here because you, you think that he was just gonna get talked down upon like this, you know? And Kodak Black riding for him, so he gotta say something. Let's see what Tutu had to say about this one. End this damn timeline and be history off make sure you definitely go ahead and smash that like button hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new damn video also let me know if any other timeline and beef histories you want covered on the ebn music media channel or if there's anything that was left out of this beef that you wanted included however let's get down and dirty with it we have douglas bernard jr shout out to swayze tv diving into his opinion on it and he also shared his story lmao fanned out i said wow <laughs> i said fanned out hey i might have to make a shy k dougie b part two might have to be part two on this one because bruh it's not him it's the labels however i will say shy k kind of messed up where he said he don't know kodak black he don't know kodak black in, in person I, I i believe him where he says that but I mean, you knew Kodak was on your project. And then, you know, at the age you are, I know you've heard Kodak Black's music. So you can't say you don't know who the man is. Now, you upset because of what Kodak Black said. Kodak Black on hot, you match the energy. I understand it all. It's New York, uh, kind of, not even just New York. A lot of man pride and ego goes into these type of situations. If we all just learned how to diffuse and communicate, these problems wouldn't happen. But a lot of people just match energy especially when you're from a certain upbringing, okay? You're gonna just match that energy. So the energy's being matched, but I thought Shy Kane Doug, and Dougie B was at least on, on, on a type of situation where they were gonna ignore each other because this is going off of another interview that I watched with Shy K talking about how he and Dougie B, they, you know, they couldn't really come to a, a actual cohesion about what they got going on, but they're like, yo, you do your thing, I do my thing, leave me alone. Dougie B said, yo, forget that, <laughs> fanned out.